Um, I wanted to ask about watch media watchdog dog organizations like NGO Monitor and Camera here in the United States. Can both of you address what you feel uh, they do well and what they do do good, where they do good and where they do bad, in terms of the their role in in public perceptions and in the media. I'll concentrate on what they do well. I think it's important to have these organizations. I think it's important that these organizations uh, will monitor a uh, will monitor what's published. Uh, having said that, I don't believe in being vocal. I some I don't believe that if you see a certain a certain a, a news which is incorrect, I don't believe in being vocal. Sometimes by, be, by being vocal, you just give this, um, this news, um, you just emphasize on this news when it's incorrect or when it's, 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 when it's incorrect. So, talking about these organi organizations that are important, but um, and sometimes you can see that they reach also other audiences rather than just the small uh, circles of the Jewish community or people who are uh, who are sympathizing with Israel. So therefore, I think it's important to have them. I, for once, agree. <laughs> I uh, I like watch the, the group. So I hate NGO monitor <laughs> for their opinions. But I, I, I am all for them, for the work they do. The, my only problem with their Israeli branch is the fact that they call for fire. They actually want to fire people, especially on, on campuses. They want to fire uh, uh, those post-Zionist uh, professors in the academia. And that's something that, uh, you know, in Israel there's a trend of, of censorship and self-censorship right now on political questions. It's something that really bothers me. But as a rule, the more voices, the merrier. 